From Sky 8, a heartbreaking sight. The body of fallen deputy Justin DeRozier is loaded into the back of a hearse for the journey back to Cowlitz County, a journey many wanted to be a part of. Because he was just doing his job, and that shouldn't happen. A 911 dispatcher of 18 years stood on an overpass in Vancouver for one simple reason. Honor him. Yeah, just to honor him a little bit. And his sacrifice. A sacrifice recognized by a countless number of people on this cold, rainy evening in the Northwest. Standing in the rain, that's, you know, the least we can do. Jody Hunzacker is the wife of a Portland police officer. She and her family waited on an overpass in Ridgefield to pay their respects to Deputy DeRozier. We just feel for the the young mom and this baby that, you know, aren't able to have them come home. So we're out here, you know, wanting to, um, them to know that we um, want to support them and do whatever we can for them. Well, I love police officers and I love my dad and what he does, so I'm just out here paying tribute to them too. That support was on full display up and down I-5. People stood on overpasses and along the highway. Bystanders, officers, deputies, firefighters. It hits us deep. I mean, I've, I've been involved in the loss of a firefighter before and uh, to have a brother this young under the circumstances is heartbreaking, so we're out here to honor him. As the procession approached the funeral home in Kelso, this much was clear. Deputy DeRozier's death is hitting this community hard. A good man died far too soon. We're just here to pay tribute to the fallen hero. Yeah, hero indeed, and uh, for those who could not stop along the highway or an overpass, they showed their support by honking and waving. It was quite a show. Back to you. What a tragic, tragic loss, but heartwarming to see that kind of support. Thank you, Mike.